The Cyrus Cylinder When Marduk, king of the whole heaven and the earth, the Lacuna, who in his Lacuna lays waste his Lacuna, broad in intelligence, Lacuna, who inspects the world quarters, Lacuna, his firstborn, Belshazzar, a low person, was put in charge of his country, but Lacuna. He set a counterfeit over them. He made a counterfeit of E. Sagil and Lacuna for Ur and the rest of the cities. Rites inappropriate to them, impure food offerings, Lacuna. Disrespectful Lacuna were daily gabbled, and as an insult, he brought daily offerings to a halt. He interfered with the rites and instituted Lacuna within the sanctuaries. In his mind, reverential fear of Marduk, king of the gods, came to an end. He did yet more evil to his city every day, Lacuna, his people, Lacuna. He brought ruin on them all by a yoke without relief. Enlil of the gods became extremely angry at their complaints and Lacuna, their territory. The gods that live within them left their shrines, angry that he had made them enter into Shuana. Exalted Marduk, Enlil of the gods relented. He changed his mind about all the settlements whose sanctuaries were in ruins. And the population of the land of Sumer and Akkad, who had become like corpses, and took pity on them, he inspected and checked all the countries, seeking for the upright king of his choice. He took the hand of Cyrus, king of the city of Anshan, and called him by his name, proclaiming him aloud for the kingship over all of everything. He made the land of Guti and all the Median troops prostrate themselves at his feet, while he shepherded in justice and righteousness the black-headed people, whom he had put under his care. Marduk the great lord, who nurtures his people, saw with pleasure his fine deeds and true heart, and he ordered that he should go to Babylon. He had him take the road to Tintir, and, like a friend and companion, he walked at his side. His vast troops, whose number, like the water in a river, could not be counted, were marching fully armed at his side. They had him enter without fighting or battle right into Shuana. He saved his city Babylon from hardship. He handed him over to Nabonidus, the king who did not fear him. All of the people of Babylon, all of Sumer and Akkad, nobles and governors, bowed down before him and kissed his feet, rejoicing over his kingship and their faces shone. The Lord, through whose help all were rescued from death, and who saved them all from distress and hardship, they blessed him sweetly and praised his name. I am Cyrus, king of the universe, the great king, the powerful king, king of Babylon, king of Sumer and Akkad, king of the four quarters of the world, son of Cambyses, the great king, king of the city of Anshan, grandson of Cyrus, the great king, king of the city of Anshan, descendant of Tiespes, the great king, king of the city of Anshan, the perpetual seed of kingship, whose reign Bel and Nabu love, and with whose kingship to their joy they concern themselves. Went I as a harbinger of peace into Babylon. I founded my sovereign reverence within the palace amid celebration and rejoicing. Marduk the great lord bestowed upon me as my destiny the great magnanimity of one who loves Babylon, and every day I sought him out in awe. My vast troops were marching peaceably in Babylon, and the whole of Sumer and Akkad had nothing to fear. I sought the safety of my city of Babylon and all its sanctuaries. As for the population of Babylon, who, as if without divine intervention, had endured a yoke not decreed for them, I soothed their weariness. I freed them from their bonds. Marduk the great lord rejoiced at my good deeds. And he pronounced a sweet blessing over me, Cyrus, the king who fears him, and over Cambyses, the son, my issue and over all of my troops, that we might live happily in his presence, in well-being. At his exalted command, all kings who sit on thrones, from every quarter, from the upper sea to the lower sea, those who inhabit the remote districts, and the kings of the land of Amuru, who live in tents, all of them, brought their weighty tribute to Shuana and kissed my feet. From Shuana I sent back to their places to the city of Asher and Susa, Akkad, the land of Eshuana, the city of Zamban, the city of Meturunu, 
Dur, as far as the borders of the land of Guthi, the sanctuaries across the river Tigris, whose shrines had earlier become dilapidated, the gods who had lived therein and made permanent sanctuaries for them. I collected together all of the people and returned them to their settlements. And the gods of the land of Sumer and Akkad, which Nabonidus, to the fury of the Lord of the Gods, had brought into Shuana at the command of Marduk, the great lord, I returned them unharmed to their cells, in their sanctuaries that make them happy. May all the gods that I return to their sanctuaries every day before Bel and Nabu ask for a long life for me, and mention my good deeds, and say to Marduk, my lord, this, Cyrus, the king who fears you, and Cambyses his son, May they be the provisioners of our shrines until distant days, and the population of Babylon call blessings on my kingship. I have enabled all the lands to live in peace. Every day I increased by Lacuna, two ducks and ten pigeons, the former offerings of geese, ducks and pigeons. I strove to strengthen the defences of the wall Imiga Inlil, the great wall of Babylon and I completed the key of baked brick on the bank of the moat which an earlier king had built but not completed its work. I, Lacuna, which did not surround the city, outside which no earlier king had built, his workforce, the levy, from his land into Shuana, Lacuna. With bitumen and baked brick I built anew and completed its work, Lacuna. Great doors of cedar wood, with bronze cladding, and I installed all their doors, threshold slabs, and door fittings with copper parts, Lacuna, and saw with it an inscription of Ashurbanipal, the king who preceded me, Lacuna, in its place. May Marduk, the great lord, present to me as a gift a long life and the fullness of age. As a cure throne and an enduring reign, may I, Lacuna, in your heart forever. Written and checked from A, this tablet is of Kishi Marduk, son of Lacuna.